Hey everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I am here with a tutorial today. Bye ya! Bronze Orange Pop. i um, really excited about this look. It's kind of the thing I like to do a lot in summer if I have parties to go to, what have you. Before I get into the tutorial though, I just wanted to give a shout out to Diana. I went to, or Denise went to our P.O. Box the other day and there was a, a parcel in there for me. And look at this very, very cool, um, what looks to me to be a handcrafted card with the black star and my initial C in pink in the middle, which is very candy show like. And um, I think it would look very cool in my dressing room door actually. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep it here in my uh, makeup room and along with that she also included remember I was having a freak out because these earrings kept falling out of my ears she found me those little rubber thingamajiggies that you put on the back of the earring to keep it from falling out so thank you so much because it would have been like six years from now by the time I got around to trying to find these uh, which means I can wear those earrings which I really love for summer which I had put away because they were falling out and she also gave me a roller ball of clean, um, which is that amazing perfume that I love that I've already used up one of. And I'd show it to you, except it's already in my purse. It's already in use. So thank you so much, Diana. I really, really appreciate that. And now to the tutorial of the bronze orange pop. So I am going to combine two new products. Uh, I got this great Josie Marin Illuminizer how illuminating. I'm just going to wank, put a little crank of that on my palette. And then I am finally trying, Denise picked this up for me ages ago, the Big Easy. Not to be mistaken with the Big Sleazy. Uh, I am using it in the O3 Light Medium. This is of course a benefit product. And I am going to crank some of it on my palette. And then I'm just going to kind of mush it together and apply it with my finger. A little bit, a little bit messed up by it right there, but let's just keep working. All right, so it blended in nicely. It, uh, I think that's a great color match for my skin tone. Before I conceal that under eye area, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Smashbox under eye concealer. I love this stuff, and I haven't bought it yet because I got two or three of these tubes in value packs, you know, me and my value packs from uh, Smashbox, and although they're small tubes, you use such a little amount that um, I haven't had to actually purchase it yet. And I think I still have a tube left. So now I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown corrector, and again with my finger, I am just going to put a little bit of that in the darkest zones, and now I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown concealer to go over that entire under eye area. So now I have put all my concealer on. I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals and this is Bare Minerals, um, the original foundation in medium beige. And then I'm using my Bare Minerals brush. This was a special edition with the John, Jonathan Adler version or whatever. And I'm going to work some of this into my skin. So there we go. As you can see, that um, kind of evened up my skin tone a little more, gave me a little more coverage, and it made my skin just a little darker, which makes it match my body skin a bit better because I'm self-tanning these days. Now I'm going to bronze, and I'm going to use this lovely new uh, Bare Minerals bronzer that you saw me haul not that long ago. This is in the color The Beach Is Waiting, and since I wanted this to sort of be that kind of beachy feel. I thought that was like a appro really appropriate bronze color. It looks like this on the inside and I'm just going to kind of swirl my brush all over all the colors and go to all the usual places. And staying in this sort of sun-kissed look on my face, the blush I'm going to use today is this Tarte blush that you saw me haul in the color Exposed, a very very popular color and I'm using this Sonia Kashuk powder brush to put it on and just sort of getting that on the outsides of the apples. Any of you bigger girls out there, um, this part right here, there's kind of a trend right now to get your blush right there. And if you have a very thin angular face, putting your blush right there can look really quite beautiful. 
Um, I'm thinking like a Lisa Eldridge type face, you know, she's very carved out. If you're fleshy like me and you put your blush right there, you look a little bit like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. So leave it, keeping it kind of out here more. Just a little more forgiving on us chubby cheek girls. Having said that, you might have a specific kind of chubby cheek that it works for you. So like, you know, whatever works for you. What I like about this blush is it sort of just blends in with the bronzing and contouring on your face so it's not like, ooh, boom, there's her blush. It's just such a really beautiful, beautiful color. So now I'm going to do a little work on my eyes and I'm going to start using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. So I am going to create this bronze look using this the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. So right here, dead in the middle of this thing, I'm gonna do a quick comparison, which I promised you I would do. This is the original um, Too Faced Natural Eyes. This is the new Too Faced Natural Eyes. And I just wanna show you, in case you're wondering, do I need to spend my money on it? It is very, very, very similar. The big colors are the same except for on the very bottom. This one's nude. This one's nude beat. On the very bottom of the dark side over here, they're, the top two are the same. The bottom are different. This one's Cocoa Puff. This one's Chocolate Martini. And in the middle aisle, the bottom two are the same. The top two are different. This one's Velvet Revolver. This one's Cashmere Bunny. So in a palette with nine shadows, there are only three different in the new one, and they are not that different. In fact, Chocolate Martini and Cocoa Puff look almost identical. Velvet Revolver and Cashmere Bunny, it is a bit of a significant difference. And Nude Beach and Nude is significant because Nude is matte and Nude Beach is very sparkly. So um, if you are a collector of Too Faced palettes, by all means, get this. If you are not, don't worry about it. If you've got that original one, you've got all you need. So anyway, I am gonna use this palette to create this really kind of bronzy, beachy look. So without any hesitation, I'm dumping right into Honey Pot, which is just a really gorgeous kind of golden color. And I'm using this uh, brush. I love these brushes. I just got them from Sephora. You probably can't see it that well in there, but it's kind of like a pink and, and taupe, corky, tiger stripey kind of print on the bottom. But anyway, any brush it's like shaped like a 239. And I'm just gonna pat that right on the lid. So now that I've got that gold packed on really nicely on the lower lid, I'm gonna use a transition color just to lay in the crease before I use any of the darker colors. And I'm gonna use that color called Nude in the very bottom and a MAC 217. And I'm just going to work that back and forth in my socket to create that transition color. I'm going to take this MAC 219, a little pencil brush, and I'm taking this colored chocolate martini, which is a super, super sparkly brown, and I'm just going to darken the outside corner with that color, but sort of very precisely. So now grab that 217 again and just smoke that out. Blend that really well so that it just looks like that dark brown is just melting into that gold. Before I do anything else, I am taking this pencil, which is my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Stingray. You've seen this a million times. It's kind of my pencil of choice right now for my tight lining and water lining, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to tight line. And notice how I can do my water line without pulling the skin on my eye way down, which I see women do that, and it's like, oh, ladies, that you're gonna regret that when you're older. You, you wanna like tug as little as possible at that, and if you just tilt your head that way, that waterline exposes itself, and you can just get right in there. If you're um, still paranoid of it, you can put your finger here and just push, because if you just push in a little, it pops the waterline out as well. So either of those ways is much um, safer on the skin around your eyes than that pulling down action. Kind of another little tip from when you're, particularly when you're doing the tight line on the top, 
Um, the iris of your eye, the eye that the part of your eye that has color, that has a lot of nerve endings in it. If you touch that, it hurts like a mofo. The white of your eye does not. If you touch the white of your eye, it doesn't really hurt. So you can't even really feel it. So my advice is, you know, you got to look in your mirror to get your pencil where you want it and then look away from the pencil. Don't look at it. Look away and do this because that way if the pencil slips and you're looking here, you hit the white of your eye and it doesn't hurt and then you don't do the big blink and it goes everywhere. I'm all full of tips today. Not sure why I don't usually do that, but anyway. Everybody can use a shared tip among friends. Now I am going to um, line my upper lash line a little bit. I wouldn't usually with this kind of a look, but I got this new pencil. Uh, it's a Clinique pencil and it is in, it's the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense in the color Intense Black Honey. And I just kind of like the, the uh, texture and feel of this and it's gonna be great for the smudging and smoking I wanna do around that lash line. So I'm just gonna very tight. I don't have to be that neat because I am gonna smudge. And then I'm gonna go back with the pencil brush back into this lovely color um, chocolate martini. And I'm just gonna smudge that out a bit. Now with what you have left on your brush, just smudge along your lower lash line. So you can see I've left all around the inner corner bare. I'm gonna take this beautiful color. This is a loose shadow pigment by Bare Minerals in the color Nude Beach. Got a, got a theme going with the beach stuff. It's just, I can't show it to you because it's all out. It's just a really, really highly reflective, beautiful loose. I'm going to take it and put just a little on the inner corner. T tiny bit along the lower edge of that inner corner. And I'm going to put a tiny bit right under the arch of my brow. If I do anything else on the eyes, I'm going to do my brows. There, so I did my brows with my Tarte Brow Mousse. And now that I've got those done, I kind of get a sense of the balance of the eye. Something I almost always do. Once I've, you know, done worked in my crease and done all that, I tend to find that the lid color has been faded out. So I'm going back in with Honey Pot with that gorgeous gold, and I'm just going to make sure that we jump up that color. Sometimes I feel like I might be the most predictable person in the world because uh, you know where I'm going now. I'm going to a little glitter. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner in the color Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just going to touch it on the inner corner. So it's very subtle. You probably can't even see it in the camera, but I put it on the inner corner and a little bit underneath the eye. Now before I um, do my lashes, my face it doesn't have quite the bronze I'm looking for, so I'm just going to add a little bit more bronze really in the places that the sun would hit me. Yeah, you probably can't tell in that, but that did make a difference. Um, in real life, it really gives it that sun clip kissed look like I've been at the beach all day. So now I am going to curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curler. I'm going to put on my Kat Von D mascara. And then I'm going to put on my favorite lashes, the Quo Flirty 804s. I'm going to do all that off camera and I shall be right back. Okay, so my lashes are on. Now I just want to um, powder my concealer to make sure it stays in place. Using my Benefit Powder Flage, it's still holding strong. It'll be a bit of a, a cry on the day I run out. Now that I've powdered that area, I will now put my lower lash um, mascara on. And I'm using the Maybelline Lash Discovery um, Mini Brush Mascara because it's got that nice little brush. And I really like it because it doesn't smudge on my face. Now there are many folks when they are doing a bronzed face, that post beach glow, um, they will use either a pale, pale coral lip or just a nude lip or kind of a bronze colored lip. I like those looks. However, I'm a girl who likes a pop of color. 
and particularly after I've been at the beach all day, I think nothing makes my teeth look whiter or my skin look more bronze when I have a really bright lip. Now, I am an avid collector of Kat Von D makeup. I have just about everything she has ever put out. I love almost all of it. Um, I was just telling Denise I don't love the mascara. This is her second attempt at mascara and I'm not digging it. Um, but I have all of her lipsticks. She first came up with her first line of lipstick, Painted Love Lipstick. Then Foiled Love Lipstick and I got all those. And she did some liquid lipsticks in only two or three colors. They were okay but they dried a little a little dry because they're a long wear uh, liquid lipstick so she reformulated them and put them out in many more colors most of which I already have and this one that I'm going to use today is a color that I have her lipstick version of it but today I'm going to try the liquid version of it and it's called a go-go which is kind of cool because in LA in the kind of heavy metal scene there's a bar called the whiskey a go-go and I know Kat you know that's near and dear to her heart so I'm guessing that's where the name of this came from. So the way that I like to use these liquid lipsticks is I don't use a liner. I had moisturized my lips before we started. I just make sure that they're, they're kind of dry to the touch now and I very carefully paint on one thin layer and let it dry and then assess whether I need another layer and I start kind of in the middle of my lips and then move out and I am not going to talk while I'm doing this. Bye! Look how bright. So that's one coat. I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. And of course it hits that trend of orange lips, orange lips that are out this summer. Um, I have my Invisaligns in and this week I got elastics on them. So my speech is a little off again, <laughs> sorry. Okay, that feels pretty dry. I'm gonna go and put the second coat. And there's the second coat. So there you go, that's the final bronze orange pop look. I really love how it turned out. If I were going to a party, this is totally what I would rock. Uh, it serves a whole bunch of purposes. It fakes out me being at the beach all day, which I probably wasn't, but with the bronze, and I would give a little more bronze on my decollete and my arms. Um, and then the pop of orange hits the summer trend and it matches so much of my uh, summer clothing. This top actually has a cute little detail right here, but since it was out of shot of the camera, I put this statement necklace on because I wanted to show it off. Uh, Sue Richard, my Leah Sophia representative, gave me this, this as a gift. It's gorgeous and it's actually, it can hang really, really long. I've got it clipped short, but it can also hang long on a long, lovely maxi dress. And I just love the detail in it with the orange and the turquoise and the gold. This ring go goes with it, also from Leah Sophia. And this was also a gift from Sue, the earrings that match this. And I know there are people that don't like matchy matchy, then don't wear matchy matchy. Mama loves matchy matchy and so I wear matchy matchy. And of course on this hand just my wedding ring and my Rolex. I've kept my hair very kind of beachy. I just put a little bit of beach spray in it. Um, and it's still a bit wet, which I, I put some PhD and a little bit of gel on it so that it will stay looking just a little bit wet. I kind of like that look in the summer, um, like as if I did just come out of the pool and rinse off and ran to the party, which in reality, it would took like two hours for me to shower, cool down from the shower, get dressed, get ready, put my face on and everything. Uh, you know, that's the reality. But when you arrive at the party, you want it to look like, oh yes, I just... I just jumped out of the water and rinsed off and voila, here I am. <laughs> it's, the, it's the illusion. That's what I love about makeup. You create frescoes and vignettes and ideas that aren't necessarily true, but they make you feel good when you do it. So um, thank you till you make it, ladies. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I've been loving all your comments, um, and I will keep them coming at Tutorial of the Week for Tutorial Testing Summer 2014. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, keep it between the ditches. Don't drink and drive. Wear a condom every time, and make sure if you are walking through this life with someone that that someone loves you a lot.